Greetings, women of science and our male feminist allies. Welcome back to Let's Play Aora 4X United Union of Unity. I am Wolf Person, and I will be your spirit guide. So I'm going to pick up right back where we left off. I did change music tracks. Same artists, or composers, I guess you'd call them. Again, I don't really have much in the way of actual hippie-ish music, but I guess it does fit the theme. We do have our sh we have a ship under construction. It's gonna take a, a bit of time, but we're we're just kind of spinning for the turns at this point. There's very little happening. Medical retirement again. Just kind of skimming these. And very quickly, what what's important, what's not. Okay, and this is gonna the research rate tech is gonna take a while, but the sooner we get that done, the sooner it speeds everything else up. So just check our conversion is about two years away from being complete. So just kinda chill out, enjoy the science. Two-dimensional, you know, flat Earth is one thing. This is a flat solar system. But it's really the only way you can run a game like this. So. I don't really have anything for officers to do at this point, so they're kind of getting surplused out. The ship is almost done. There's the ship. Okay, go into ship and task groups. Click on shipyard. Click on the ship and detach. So it'll leave the shipyard task group in Terra Orbit. That's where all your new ships go. Dolphin Dreaming. Current speed 16,000. So we could just go in here bodies just kind of let it run I'm gonna manually do it for now so okay fuel uh, less than 40 percent if you fuel a colony just it's kind it saves you so much trouble if you have that on you do need to watch the fuel on a ship but in most situations okay so moons so it'll slow here and for some reason Luna shows up as a moon uh, Venus I guess that's just the way that game Game was set up. I'm gonna start by surveying Luna. Then we're gonna go to Venus. Then go to Mars. Then I want to grab Ceres, and then we'll just kind of play it by ear. So. There's Earth. There's the Moon. Which may or may not be flat. So I'm doing five seconds turns there. I just want to show how fast this ship. Thirty seconds. And then this is survey the ship, the uh, the moon orbit. So that can take a while. I 
when it's done, it'll tell us what we got on the moon. Finished serving, and it took off for uh, Mercury. Did we find anything? We found so, trace monosodium, a bit of uranium. So some minerals is better than none, but that's not a major mining site. Which brings us to the next decision. Luna, um, population, create colony. There's about three, three or four different ways to do that, but sometimes you just want to manually put a colony on the planet. Uh, so, Luna. The minerals here. Now, oh, ground surveys. You know, there's a couple of, uh, there's a couple of arguments here. Uh, when you do a ground, when you do an orbital survey, it checks for minerals. When you do a ground survey, it does it again, but it does it at like a much reduced rate. So those two series here with the ground things. One, I like to do it as early as possible because I know I'm going to be exploiting this planet anyway. But um, if it rolls up, let's say I got a small amount of thorium and it's a lesser excess, um, that roll will be wasted. So some players will wait until the later game so that they don't waste any minerals at all. But again, I like to do it early. Arguments both ways, and I'm using naval officers right now because I don't want to, I want to give them an actual job. So they can use something useful, and they don't get surplus out. Okay. So zoom over to Mercury, which they did in that one five-minute click, and nothing in Mercury. I'm just going to mark out Mercury. No, hold on, just call me later. We will want to do a ground survey on every single large body in the solar system. Because we are kind of going to be here anyway. Venus, anything. Minerals on Venus, good supply of uranium. Okay, that's one good supply of corundium. Oh, okay. Good supply of macassium, a trickle of galaxy. So that is all... Most that is all our serious mineral worries completely wiped out in one in one roll. We got all this stuff. Uranium supply, enough, uh, enough rickasium, corundium, enough to get kick started. Even you have a trickle of galaxite, so no sorium yet, but you know. Already I'm feeling very good about this playthrough. Mars. Anything on Mars? Mars is empty. Okay, but we're gang. We're gonna build a colony anywhere, anyway. And the, anything on Ceres? No. Okay, it's worth checking. Now I'm gonna send the dolphin. To Jupiter. It's planet or moon? So we'll go check them. Go check the moons of Jupiter. A lot depends on what we find here. That not finding minerals on Mars this was kind of disappointing, but thorium on Jupiter. We we can do these fuel harvesters for. That's not great. Not a great find. Just want to see what's on those moons. look like almost done the conversion research is two years so. nothing on Europa really only need minerals on one of these plant uh, one of these moons Ganymede Decent trickle here. Um, not that excited, but okay. 
numbers. Now, there's, I said there's more than one way to do a colony. So go on the geological surface report. This is a very useful screen. You will want to dig around in it. Go to Ganymede, create colony. Again, it's a decent mineable colony. So it's going to take a lot of work to terraform. So there is arguments to using auto mines. Nothing on Callisto, which is very interestingly with the one of the better possible colony sites in the uh, solar system because it's outside of Jupiter's ra uh, radio point where out of the four. Ah, let me explain. It. There's a YouTuber, um, Isaac Arthur. Uh, I guessing most of you would know at this point if you're if you're the sort of person who watch who plays AR for X, you're gonna know who this guy is. But okay, out of these four moons, uh, Callisto is the furthest out, and it doesn't have as much radiation as the inner moons. So a lot of a lot of people were thinking uh, Iowa again. These these four these these other moons get all the glory. But Callisto is actually the better colony. Colony site. The one it's so because it's not doesn't have the deadly radiation uh, as much radiation from Jupiter. So you're open Ganymede might look nicer, but they're in, inside they're cl close enough to, to Jupiter to actually be kind of in a danger zone. Callisto is it's, you know it's got a lot of ice, so it's kind of a bit of a flavor thing. But we only found minerals on that one planet on uh, the one. Moon. So, as soon as they're done here, we'll send them back to the start di start digging into the asteroids. Here's the conver uh, conversions are done. Okay. Go ahead and just finish up these. Now we can start planning our actual industrial, industrial expansion. Okay. Always check your sciences every now and then. See if we get anybody. It's actually early game. There's a couple of things, a couple of guys we're missing. Okay, so what do we need right now? We do need a commercial shipyard, which is going to let us build freighters. So we're going to put that in is priority. We're going to want to finish the military academy. We want a second shipyard, but not right away. Always want to have at least some construction yards under under uh, construction. So probably gonna want about a hundred mines. Again. <clears throat> Research lab. It's early. No, we need to get the, we need to get this construction done first. Okay, so I'm gonna put forty. I'm gonna put thirty in there. Put the other ten just to get, just to get that done. Then, so we're gonna go and we're gonna modify the uh, over here just to survey nearest five bodies. We're just gonna just gonna just kind of watch it go about go about its business, clearing the asteroid field. Smaller bodies, uh, you get very good accessibility when you get very small amounts. So 
The larger the body is, the larger the amount you can get, but the less accessibility. So you do need to have a bit of a. You want to get the short-term gain from the uh, mines, but we do, you also want to have, you know, the planets are kind of like we're going to be able to mine Venus for pretty much yet. We're going to be, oh. so uranium-wise, we're pretty much set. So and because there's uranium in the same site. Okay, well, once the survey is done, I'll go and go over all the comments and that. It's kind of chilling out right now. In fact, I could. Okay, I'm gonna set the five days for now. Just kind of let it just let it run. Let, the, let our brave crew team the dolphins. So our next goal is to get a freighter up, get some, um, figure out what we're going to do with our, with our auto mining site. And after that, we colonize Luna and, Mar and Mars. So that's going to, okay, anything happen here? A, a decent mineable asteroid there. I'm gonna go over this later. Ooh, Gal Ooh, and that is beautiful. Beautiful comment there. Okay. It's gonna be bad. Let it run. Also, be interested to see what we find on Titan. It could, that could alter our strategy. So you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna add Titan here. Okay, just go ahead and do that next. find anything on Titan. Okay. So aside from Venus, we yeah, aside from that big that big find on Venus you know fairly uh, Fairly mediocre mineral rolls right now. So. Now we could get lucky in the other system. Just re just checking the asteroids there. Okay, we're gonna know what astronomy the best fun this game is. It's kind of a prerequisite though, so I'm kind of kind of expecting you to. Okay. Oh, Kamasola. That's a nice one. I'm gonna, gonna go right there. I'm gonna mark that for a colony right now just so we get get that for our auto mines. Can mark these as well. Is that too early? It's too you know what? Go ahead. Side. I think these are moons so much. I'm not too sure. Uh, this. Well, nice. I, I don't know if it's enough to actually justify cluttering up the screen there. Well, 
inventory is almost done. When we're done that, we can, can we can shift our production. This construction builder academy. Okay, twenty percent to go. I'm gonna put everything in the construction. Check in here, uh, we are using duranium more and faster than we are mining it, so we might want to shift, shift over the mine. But, yeah, for now, it's good. Search, just want to double check that. In case we've got a new guy. Really looking forward to getting that done. It'll speed up, so we've got a 20% increase. You know what? There's no reason to really rush to worry about the circuit. I'm just going to do 30 seconds. Right Structural construction are done. So I want to put. Mass drivers, we're going to get quite a few of those. Get 10 for now. These are uh, transport minerals between planets. Spaceport, this, uh, <clears throat> I don't know if I want one this, this early, but I'm going to put it in as a low priority. Spaceports help you unload cargo, ships and cargo faster. We want, want to have a couple on Earth, maybe one on so. Okay. Just go ahead and do it. Go ahead, do 30 day turns. Ground survey is done on Luna. I don't think they found anything, but. You could role play by picking up the team and moving them to another planet. And do you know what? Because we're not doing, it's going really slow, we're not doing anything. We're going to go and do that. So, Luna, pick up team, add move. I want to drop them off on Mercury. And you can go back to doing your thing. I would bother with in the mid or late game, but early on it's you know, kind of fun. And you're you're playing. Why do you play games? You play games because they're fun. So, drop off the team, and just go ahead and uh, keep exploring. There we go. Big sore and pile on Broly. So we're gonna grab that one. I'm just grabbing this so I don't want don't get a uh I'm grabbing this because uh um, civilian auto civilian colony will will be produced on it's decent enough. I want 
Just grab me that so it's under government control and so you don't get a corp uh soy colony on it. Because the uh Okay, when the when the game decides, um I think it's Drenium or Sorium are the two things the uh civilian mine the AI will take into account when setting up civilian mines. And you do want some civilian mines because it's very it's a early game boost. It does does burn a bit of minerals. Or mine asses or that sort of thing, but we'll get to that later. Oh hello. First of all, our uh, research boost is done. Second of all, geo survey team has found a uh, deposit of mercury, which is completely useless to us. So, well, at least they tried. So, mercury, pick up team, drop off team, and go back to your thing. Okay, more importantly, we have our uh, research rate is done. So we need to start thinking about what we're going to do. Cargo handling is very useful, and our guy has a 30% bonus. So we're going to need that for our freighters. And I should have been already upgrading here. For a freighter, you want about 40,000 tons. You can get away with 35,000, but I do like to have a bit of speed on my freighters, even, even this early. So. I'm going to get the freighter up. Then we're basically going to be rushing for iron engines. Drop the one Venus. months to get that cargo handling. Let's switch our research. So right now we got a decision here. We can uh, run, we can uh, improve our overall production. We can rush for uh, rush for iron engines. So it just occurred to me: Do we have? Do not have neutronium on Venus. So we do need to watch our neutronium supply. Which means, in this case, I'm going to uh, switch over to the. Shipyard production to get that down. That'll help us save some minerals. We are going to be expanding these yards a bit. There's, there's so many options at this point. I just want to kind of. It's going to be a while. It's going to be another. Basically, another year or two in game before anything happens. We can just burn two turns right now. Okay, still watching the messages for anything important. Not a lot that can happen. This okay, crew more alfalfa. Basically, they they've been out for um, three years. So what we're gonna do? Hand it back to Earth. Refuel, and we're gonna turn off their default orders so they'll actually stay in Earth. So we'll go. They'll refuel. I'll get some shore leave, take this down, 
This only affects military ships and geo survey ships. Sometimes I will uh, let a let a, like a regular civilian ship uh, take rest, just kind of a semi role playing thing. But you can also be an evil space corporation and just send them right right back out the world. After all. Our ship should be coming back to Earth any time now. You'll notice I only built one. I could have built two. That would have been would have sped up our survey process. Don't really need it. You don't want to overbuild this game. Okay, so back in spaceport is done. Now, do we want? Can I'm going to pop out two or two research labs. At least get started on that. Kind of a little early. If I want to start. Okay. Got a year until the next research is done. Yeah, that tech on researching, it lowers this, the cost here for expanding and refueling. So it would save about 5% of this. That's not really worth the time at this point, but it will be for the next upgrade. So. Honestly, going the construction rate would have been probably better. Survey of Venus is done. Did not find anything. Cruise is done, so I'm going to tell you to go to Venus, pick up the team, drop them off at Mars, and then special orders. Just go back. Go back to doing your surveys. Team dropped off at Mars. Okay, normally you would just disband the team and build a new one, and it would move the personnel over, so the game doesn't keep track of where personnel are. Mass driver is done. Automated mines. We are going to want lots of these because of our Venus discovery. Let's might as well start building them now. Discovery research. Talking like about six months here before anything happens. Okay. Um, survey deposit. Okay. What we have is a very low trickle of galacite. Um, Probably not enough to justify moving moving mines there, but it, it is something, and we are going to be putting people on the planet. Oh, I just disbanded the team. That's, that's what we did. Old habits. So, so I'm going to show you what the, you would do in a normal situation if you weren't, if you weren't uh, stressing the role-playing aspect. I've just disbanded on Mars, and I've created a new team on Venus. Mostly it's the same personnel, so... Yeah, so having those that uh, trickle on Mars, it's not really that useful. You might, I might move a few mines there just to help diversify our investments, but it's uh, probably just gonna leave it. Loon and Mars is low. I don't know. We are gonna put the we are gonna put people on there because. We need to shovel our snowflakes out, out, in, out in the cruel cold universe. Okay, Ganymede is done. Okay, no, did not find anything. Okay. So we're going to start checking empty planets now. Quick 
colony on this. Okay, we got one in Ohio, Europa, and Callisto. There is literally no reason not to ground serving these, these planets. So let's go ahead and do that. I did not like it. Disband. Is almost done, so I'm gonna wait on the uh, next upgrade there. So we save a little bit of minerals. Another good thing here is go to the minerals and just kind of it'll sh it'll show you all the list of the things, the uh, planets and moons. Oh, neutronium on. Eberron. Baron. That's a useful mine. I believe that's a moon of Uranus or Neptune. Don't know which one. It's a good find, so we were going to move some auto mines over there. Bit of a distance, but. Anyway, happy I checked that. Okay. Test production, production. Just want to check if there's any. any. No. Okay, I'm gonna I increase the construction rate here. I think that's just a reasonable thing to be doing. And take two two years in game. Probably gonna be worth it. And here's a tech thing. Go ahead and upgrade. So you can see we saved six six geranium, six neutronium. It's not much, but it did something. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to uh, show you build our uh, space freighter. This is the bare minimum space freighter. So rainbow rose class. I'm just gonna leave deployment to three. This is normal normal commercial ship. I could do a new larger engine. With fuel efficiency it doesn't really matter. Gonna want one cargo handling shift, uh, system. You can argue for two. I don't see the point. Uh, one cargo hold, so it makes it freighter. These can hold one one installation, or I believe it's ten ten infrastructure. So. Do want a boat? Decent. Now we need to put some fuel in. Uh, so this will, but this should be able to get us out to Jupiter or maybe even Saturn. Reach Neptune. I believe it will. You know how we? Let, uh, let's go ahead and check. So holding shift. Starting in where the sun is to Neptune, we get 4.7, so 5 billion kilometers, so 10 billion kilometer range. Based on our ship's uh, range is 18.4, so that is more than enough to get there and back. Uh, now, if we wanted to go out to like the Oort Cloud Kenarper Belt things, uh, might want to use a different ship. Just 
just because of the speed. But anyway, that will do. Avoid lock design. I believe it, what, what, how much was that? Thirty-six. Yes. Okay. So that will do the job. So as soon as our shipyard's done um, retooling, we'll start building that. First objective is get an auto mine set up on Venus. Then we'll start thinking about uh, Luna and Mars. So we would need a second freighter and possibly a colony ship. Okay, so like, uh, you usually only need to build one colony ship early and your civilian economy will take, take things over from there. Okay. I'm going to call it an episode there. Um, stay groovy, cosmic people, and we'll first out. <laughs>